Podcasting in Africa is booming, but there's one problem. Too many people are stuck in the same lane. Celebrity interviews might be cluttering the space, but if you look closely, there are huge opportunities just waiting to be grabbed in other sectors like news, comedy, and especially African language podcasts. Today, I want to light a fire under anyone out there hesitating to start a podcast. Now is the time to get creative and innovative. Let's take a look at the bigger picture. Africa is becoming a global player in podcasting. But as someone who runs the Africa Podcast Network and sees the commercial demand every day, I can tell you this, there's a lot more to podcasting than celebrity interviews. Yes, that space is cluttered, but there are massive opportunities where hardly anyone is looking. So where are these untapped opportunities? Let's dive in. News podcasts are a land grab opportunity. News podcasts are thriving in other parts of the world. Just look at places like the UK, Australia, and the US. People want reliable, engaging, news content that's easy to consume on the go. But in Africa, we're not seeing enough of it. Dan Corder has pretty much captured the whole market by himself. His content is brilliant, but it's only one style of engaging content. Why aren't the big news organizations putting out daily news content? And there's a space for daily news or regular updates in the podcasting environment. And this is your chance to get in early and make your mark. We need more African perspectives on current events, politics and social issues. Comedy podcasts are Africa's hidden gem. Comedy podcasts are dominating in the world like the US and Europe, but here in Africa, there's just not enough. Trevor Noah, anyone? Why is he the only one? People are hungry for humor, especially content that resonates with local culture and experience. Comedy could be the next big thing on the continent. And in Africa, we are consuming international comedy podcasts. Where are our local ones? African language podcast, the big untapped giant. And here is where the gold mine is. We have over 2000 languages across the continent. And yet so few podcasts are being produced in these local languages. Think about it. This is a massive, uncated for market. There's a growing demand for content that speaks directly to people in their native tongues. I've been researching in South America and French speaking countries where native language podcasts are killing it. And here's what I want to tell every aspiring podcaster listening. Stop waiting. Stop second guessing yourself and start creating. If you've got an idea for a news show or a comedy podcast or something in your local language, go for it. The market is wide open. And right now we're at a point where the African podcast scene is young and hungry for diversity and content. So let this be your wake up call. Don't just follow the trends, create new ones. And I see the commercial demand for it through the Africa Podcast Network. Brands are wanting to sponsor these types of podcasts, but where are they? If you're ready to stop hesitating and start innovating, hit that follow button and keep listening for more insights and inspiration to get your podcast off the ground. Hit me up in the comment section, leave me a review, find me on Instagram, but subscribe on my channel. Break.